springtime in Colorado, it means violent thunderstorms and tornadoes. We have more tornadoes in the United States than any country in the world, 10 times as many. In Colorado in the month of June, 700 tornadoes reported just since the 1950s. So how is this amazing feat of Mother Nature formed? We'll take you inside, show you the anatomy of a tornado. A tornado is a violently rotating column of air, usually starts at the base of a supercell, goes down to the ground. On the ground is where we see the signature on radar. That is a hook echo that is found on the southern flank of that storm. It's a little appendage that comes out that shows rotation within that cell, which grows that supercell 40, 50, 60,000 feet up into the atmosphere. You have downdraft winds that will pull in some cool air. If it's not too cold, those upper level winds will collide with warm, moist air inflowing from the surface. That can create rotation on its own. One of the signatures with a supercell and a tornadic storm is a wall cloud, and that is a shelf that lowers. That can rotate on its own along with the whole storm, but that's also where we'll see the funnel form or the tornado. It's a teeny tiny part of this massive storm and the most dangerous part. When you see debris swirling at the surface, dust swirling at the surface, that's where you don't want to be. We can see plants, trees, cars, appliances, houses, even people being rotated around this violent storm and then projectiles out like missiles. Very dangerous scenario playing out and the last place you want to be is underneath that wall cloud with a debris cloud forming at the surface.